Welcome back. Are you like me? Would you like to have a better way to break down your sheet goods? Right now, I just use one of my circular saws and I use a straight edge and that, that's how I break down my sheet goods. But I would like to have a better way. And of course, I've looked at track saws and maybe you're like me too. You look at track saws, but it's kind of hard to justify the cost because I do break down some sheet goods, but not every day. And those saws are very expensive. So um, maybe I found an alternative. Um, recently, here, here I bought some Boro products. Now these products fasten onto a circular saw, which is good for me because I just happen to have three circular saws already. So since I have three circular saws, I think I'm gonna take one of my circular saws and dedicate it to this Boro system. You mount it on a plate, and then the plate goes on a track, and it's supposed to act like pretty much like a track saw. Now, I haven't used these items yet. I've just purchased them. I'm going to set them up today and I'm going to make my first cut on a piece of plywood. I need a 32 inch wide piece of plywood that's 8 foot long. So it's a very simple cut but it's a good place to start and to try this out. Okay, today I'm just going to focus on two items. I'm going to focus on the saw plate and I'm going to focus on this big long clamp which is 100 inches long. Okay, just out of curiosity, I'm going to use a stopwatch to see how long see how long it takes to set this up. First, you set the plate onto the track. There's two scoops to loosen up. So that's basically five minutes. expecting this system to be quite this precise, but I'm very happy that it's more accurate than I thought it would be. So that's very good. I like it. Well, now for my closing thoughts on this Bora system. The Bora, the Bora straight edge, along with the saw plate to put on your existing circular saw, it works better than I thought it would. My expectations was if I could rip some panels, some plywood, sheet goods, within a sixteenth of an inch, I'd be pretty happy. This one, the last cut was dead on. There's no deflection whatsoever. The clamp itself is made out of aluminum. The plastic, it has a plastic handle, but this part's aluminum. And, uh, and the saw plate itself is, uh, is made out of plastic. So you can't expect it to last really as long as probably a track saw that's higher priced. But for the price of this thing, my gosh, you want to get into entry level of something accurate, it's super easy to use. You just push along just like a track saw you don't have to worry about the saw going one way or the other. It's really simple, easy to use. 
Um, told to set up time, I took it out of the box. You saw me set it up. It took five minutes to put the plate onto the saw and have it accurate. Off camera, I took about another five minutes just to square, put a square in everything to make sure everything was, was completely square. It was actually pretty good the first time. I just, I just had to tweak it just a hair. So that was like 10 minutes. I had to put the track, the, the, this um, clamping edge was in two pieces, put that together. That takes, what, two or three minutes. Oh no, it wasn't bad. So within, you know, like, from taking on the box, easily within, be conservatively, 15 to 20 minutes, I was ready to cut. Borrow system works really great. So I'm very happy I purchased it. I'm sure you see a lot more videos. Thanks for watching and have a great day everybody and I'll see you next time.